name is Mitch, Mitch Maris. This is our bus, it's called the Tambor Bus. Uh, let me show you inside. Uh, begin with, uh, I took out the original door off, pulled the windows out, made my own door. So this is the door I made right here. Uh, we've got covers uh, for each side for darkening it up. As we walk in, my husband's going down the road. I wanted my wife to set up with me and stuff. Uh, set parallel so she can see the same things I see. So I made this bracket for the, her seat. And it swings around, comes over, and I can lock it in. Swing her around. And then she can, oh, it's all way up. She can go up front like that. Okay, so she's setting parallel with me. All right, and she got room for her feet, so yep, that's yep. So her feet sets her, and she doesn't know the stairway and stuff. I've seen, uh, seen some people have made a uh, a plate to go over the stairs. Uh huh. To, yep. So when they're parked or whatever, they, they got a little bit more floor here. space, and same when they're driving for something like this. Right. Okay. So um, you can slide the chair back, and you can still get in and out. Enough room to get in and out, but I have to swing the chair all the way. But when we're parked and stuff like that. I'll bring the chair forward, uh, cock it this way, unlock the latch, and it swings right around. And then I can lock it in yeah. position for in the back. So, yeah, I like I, that. I'm going to step up. got to get these curtains. Okay. I like how you close the windows yep. off for the snacks. So I, I made those all for you can close it up here during the night or during the winter. And they snap in on sides and they just tuck in at the front. This uh, material here, I had to have a transition because this is what they consider a high bus and it drops down. And I couldn't go down with the wood about all the wood coming in at different angles and stuff. Yeah. So I decided to go material. So I put my material up here. This is the TV right here. I made this hinge. She just drops down. Nice. Okay. So let's put it back up. Okay. Ah, okay, so I did tear out the heater in front and made a little cubby holes there. Got a fold down table here. And this is our living area. Like I say, we kind of wanted to have, set it up for, we have a dining room area, living room, kitchen, bedroom, bathrooms. That's how we want to set it up. Uh, <clears throat> my wife was getting tired of the wood and stuff like that. And after we put the material, diamond, good material up front, she thought it would look nice down below. So we put it down below. Yep. Okay. It's nice uh, having the different material. Yep. Mine, I did different stains on the wood to, so like it's cherry down here, right. it's mahogany right. up there. And okay. There are, you know, turn low dog here. There's a, when you first walk in, there's a switch here you can turn on. There's lights above, right there. Yep. And we got puck lights as you go down through. And there's, <clears throat> touch them they just turn on oh okay those are nice so and you can hold them and they'll go dimmer or brighter and stuff like that yeah. yeah i've got the touch dimmer switches for mine not the ones down the hall because that's the one that i really want bright all the time but, right yeah okay let me uh still on the side right here okay oh, this is i just noticed did you have something that's these to cover the windows? Yes, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. Oh, okay. The bus Sorry. Is called, <laughs> the bus is called Tambor Bus. Okay, a tambour is a, like uh, what you see on top of a roll top desk. Okay. It rolls up in there and stuff. So each one of these windows right here, I made a roll top going up inside the ceiling. So there's a set in with set screws, and they all drop down. So at night, you're completely. That's, that's a cool idea. Okay. So like say, usually a timbre, a timbre will roll the opposite way. This has got to roll this way, so you had to really watch 
how you cut it and stuff, make sure it can roll this direction. Sure. Okay, so each one of the windows got down. And so in the winter, using a diesel heater, uh, is I think it's 17 degrees out. I got it 78 degrees in here. Yeah. So that's how one of those work stuff. In the summer, you can close down and it stops the sun from you know pushing it off the glass and stuff like that. Yeah. So as you go back, simple kitchen. The wife liked the idea of an L-shaped kitchen and stuff like that. So I'm right here. Just a stove top, microwave right now. Still got the cupboards to finish out. Still got quite a bit to do. These are just all temporaries right now and stuff. Just hold stuff right now. This is a 12 volt fridge, works great. And we just have to pond that. Yep. So. Okay, the, the bedroom. <clears throat> we uh, decided to go to separate beds. Uh, because we're getting older and we didn't like climb out on top of each other and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, and also we wanted the bathroom in the back. So that's how we did that. As you walk into the bathroom back here, we got a composting toilet that I made. Uh, and the little sink will eventually go there. And the shower I haven't got done yet, but the shower will be over here. And one thing, I did want is so, uh, a closet. We really have a closet. So my electrical is behind this wall over on the side here. And so I built a closet right here. This way here's a laundry chute. So we got a place to drop laundry. And if you reach up in it, unlock it, it swings around. And it'll swing over top of the I made it high enough for it'll swing over top of the, the shower and stuff. And you can access the back door. This will lift out, so if I need to bring something along in. And this is my lecture room closet back here, so if you want to swing in there. And it's against kind of this wall right here, but. Right. Okay. Uh, electro feeds up in here and stuff, and all the wires are tucked behind this in a box and stuff like that, so. Very nice. So. Well right. thought out. Watch yourself. Hey, right. <laughs> come on. Oh. Says, but but I can see out this window. And that's another reason why we did that. This is for we can throw a bed back here if we're traveling down the road. She can sit back here too. So still a ways to go on it. Yeah. Well, the schoolies are never done. Yep. They're done-ish. <laughs> and uh, again, all the tambour windows or shades are back here too. So. All right. That's got to be that's There's nice. uh, four, 14 windows I did for the tambour shades. There's uh, 40 pieces of wood in each shade. And so that's five, I think it was 560 pieces of wood to make all these tambours. Uh -huh. So I got into a production system and making them and stuff like that. Yep. On the back side of them, I'm using linoleum flooring because it's more flexible and you want to get the that higher quality it's got the weave in it and stuff like that for a little right. crack on you and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's a good idea. But um, I use that and, and also it will block the light coming through a little bit too. I noticed uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Woodworker, I watched it to get ideas. He just did a couple old Tambo nightstands. I haven't watched the video yet because where we are, it takes forever to download. But right. um, yeah, I always like those. But well, uh, <clears throat> How I did it, uh, the, the rails and for the tambours is, is a flexible plywood. So after oh, okay. I spray foamed the bus, I uh, ran this three inch thick plywood and I'd run one, that's probably about an inch and a half wide, then I'd run another one, let's say an inch, then no one an inch and a half wide, so I left the grooves on it so the tambours would slide right up and down in it. Yeah, so makes sense. This, this flexible plywood is, is above the ceiling also. Now, once once this comes out, there'll be a whole lot of people trying to do that. So, Maybe. So. Trying. A lot, <laughs> lot of work. Yeah. So. so, well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Very nice bus. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the tour of that latest rig. I will have a new one next Saturday. 
uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified. So make sure you don't miss them. Uh, lots of uh, cool rigs coming up this year. See you down the road, my friends. Stay safe.